All right. I don't see Ricardo Patara here. Or are you going to send uh, to, uh, or are you going to be online? Ricardo, you're here. Franco, do you see Ricardo in Zoom? Let's move ahead. Should you present it? Well, Jorge Villa, <laughs> a round of applause to Jorge. Jorge will give the presentation of the report. Yes, since Ricardo is not here, I'll do it for him. Yes, we had prepared it. We had prepared it, but we were going to do it together. Oh, Ricardo's here. Ah, uh, this was just to fool you. A fire chariot. <laughs> Make up your minds, we have to leave. Well, since our athlete needs to recover, let me start. Well, we are going to give a brief report of the work that we've completed so far in ASO, um, that is the, the uh, Support uh, Council for uh, the Addresses of ICON, N-R-O-N-C, that's the way we, we call it. Uh, number Council is, uh, we. And in at ICON, a a so a c, but we are speaking of the same thing that receives different names. So basically, this is a consultative uh, body in policy of an, uh, numeric um, resources. There are three members for each uh, RIR. Two are elected by the community, and one is appointed by the board of each registry. And there are also observers of the various regional registries and of ICANN. Usually, the mandates, the terms are for two or three years, but it depends on the regional uh, registry. And the main functions that we have here well, cons to act as advisors to ICANN on issues related to number of resources, to accompany the PDP, uh, global PDPs, and members, select members for the um, seats uh, 9 and 10 of the ICANN board, and also selecting a member to participate in, in ICANN's NONCOM, that is a body that is much larger, that selects other groups of uh, uh, of management in ICON that come from other sources, from the different the various communities. Basically, we work with a, a video conference monthly. It's open to observers, and we have an in-person meeting once a year. Here you have the members of the council. At present, we are working with Latin America and the Caribbean. Ricardo Patara is there. Well, he's here. He's present today. Ricardo Patara and myself, we were chosen by uh, the community, and in this case, Esteban Lescano. Could you please stand up, Esteban Lescano, who 
was uh, appointed by the board to participate in that this task. With the global policy uh, development, uh, we have already talked about regional policies. In this case, that what we have seen during the forum, there are some policies that, because of their characteristics, are ap applied in the five registries just the same. And they condition the use of the global resources that is uh, administered by the central uh, registry, the PTI that is part of ICON, and those relations between PTI and those numerical resources that are in that uh, central registry and the various regions, that is the five registries. So those global policies, we accompany the entire process and we are paying close attention. And this is what happens in the different fora. In this case, in 2022, the facilitators for the process um, well, in this case, it was my turn to participate. Last year, it was Esteban. So we ex we exchanged, we switched roles. We have worked a lot on transparency. We hold uh, a monthly annual meet, uh, a monthly meeting that is open to observers. Everybody at the ICON meetings can participate, except when we discuss uh, uh, classified uh, information, such as the election of uh, the ICON board. We have a discussion list that is open. You can uh, see it. And the video monthly video conferences that we hold tend to be at 12 UTC. There you have the uh, um, calendar, and usually we review the transparency at work and the, of the team, and you can consult it in the ASER uh, uh, site and the working um, plan. Since Ricardo is now a bit better, I'll give him the floor. Thank you, Jorge. I apologize for the delay, but I was helping out with the registration for the assembly, so I apologize. I think it is interesting to highlight something here and that the people pay attention because the meetings are open. You can listen to what the ASO does, what, what, does, what are the new things, and in ASO, you have in the website of ASO, you have a calendar with the meetings agenda. These are meetings that involve many regions. So you can learn about what happens in the different regions. So these are open topics. As Jorge was saying, we have some tasks that involve more responsibilities. One of these tasks is to appoint members to ICANN's board. These are people who were appointed in the past. We have Maimura Akinori for position 10 at ICANN's board. His tenure finishes in October 2022. We appointed Alan Barrett for the position number nine at ICANN. And we also have the option of appointing people for the NOMCON. This is a department of ICANN which appoints people for the board. Brachish Chain was appointed by us to be part of that room. Since the end of last year, until recently, we have been working in the selection process for electing a position. Maimouna Aknori's mandate expires in October, but prior to that, we have to appoint the next person. So this is the timeline for the process. Majority of these stages have been completed. We have a nomination phase. People who are interested 
uh, offer, uh, state the intention of being part of it. We have an interview stage and then shortlisting. And now we're about to announce the final election. In this URL you have on the slides, you can download this prepar the presentation from LACNIC's site. There you can see the details on the process and also pay attention to the announcement of the finalization of the election process. In addition to that, it is also important to call your attention to the fact that by the end of 2023, in the second semester of 2023, we'll be starting the process to select a person for position number nine whose tenure finishes in 2024, so pay attention if you're interested in this. We can all help you to clarify doubts, what the process is all about, so that we have quite a number of people from our region. We have re really competent people in our region who can apply for that position, number nine. Regarding this point, I would like to highlight that it is important that everyone who might be interested in participating in this process and who comply with the requirements. <coughs> this is a strict process, but I think the community has plenty of people who are capable of being part of ICANN's board, Le people who have leadership, people who are recognized. And I think that many people could really start considering this if they have the time and the disposition. And I suggest you can work if you wish to propose your nomination for this, which should be at the end of 2023. Thank you, Jorge. This is information that is available in the slides and shows which are the RIR meetings that took place in the past six months. It is also interesting because there is a link to obtain information on the meetings, what happened, what were the, the propose, what were the proposals that were discussed, and what occurred in the other regions. So that would be all. Any question? Any questions? Thank you, Ricardo Patara and Jorge Villa. Any questions from the floor on ASO? Now a big round of applause for them.